Hello and welcome again to the Friday Wrap for September 5th. Uh, it is, a um, matter of fact, it's a, almost dusk right about now uh, where I'm at, which I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, last uh, Friday night, uh, we had our final concert in Conscious on the Green. It was the Chicago Experience, if, if you were able to attend. It was a jam-packed uh, crowd as well on the, on the final day. Uh, they played some great songs. matter of fact, they even had uh, two encores. I hope the residents didn't mind that, but it was just a, a great finale. Uh, I, I even, even had a chance to meet who I, thought, I think was a band director, Steve Frost. And coincidentally, I ran into a friend of his this week over at the King Brew Bar up on Kine Line Road. It's a small world. And I also had a, a couple of residents repeat what another resident, Jackie, said. That's, what are we going to do on Friday nights uh, from now on? And well, I guess tonight we'll find out. Uh, as far as village board meetings, uh, village meetings, I should say, uh, we have a, a, a Citizens Police Academy. Uh, that actually started, uh, started yesterday. Uh, that'll be every Thursday until November 6th. Uh, we had the uh, restaurant week is coming up on the week of September 12th to uh, Sunday, September 21st. Uh, the Board of Fire and Police Commissioners meeting uh, is scheduled for September 10th. On September 12th uh, is uh, uh, actually uh, be a, a week from today, uh, Global Luxury Imports is going to have kind of a soft grand opening, uh, kind of a, by, by invitation only. Uh, that's kind of neat. They're getting very close to opening up there on Kine Line Road. And this week, we also sent a letter to the Willow Springs mayor regarding that issue regarding it at Vail at, at the Flag Creek. Uh, that uh, went out, and we'll see if we can get a bit better, better response and, uh, and perhaps better conditions over there uh, working with the village. Uh, this, uh, this Monday, we have a board meeting, and uh, of course, it'll be at 7 o'clock. Uh, and following the board meeting, we're going to have our second uh, uh, goal-setting workshop. Now, residents are welcome to attend that meeting. Uh, they're not allowed to exactly participate directly. Uh, but if you'd like to know about some of our goals of all the trustees, uh, I, I'd be I'd encourage you to attend. Uh, I know anything that I'm going for, I'm uh, encouraging uh, the board. Uh, it's very consistent with what I, what I promised from the very beginning. I have two goals, and that is to, to uh, preserve our quality of life and to prepare for our financial future. Uh, so I hope, you could, hope you're able to attend. Uh, this week, we also had a, uh, one resident uh, I have a, make a request on behalf of his father. Uh, to submit some uh, letters for his mail call, mail call of his father's going on an honor flight. He's a World War II vet. He was a major in the U.S. Army Air Corps. Uh, his George Lutz will be going on it, uh, I believe, next week. And his son, Charles, was the one that uh, was, was quarterbacking that. As far as the bridge update, uh, as you see by the pictures, it's incredible. You know, that bridge is moving very quickly. Matter of fact, uh, all the, the steel beams are, are actually scheduled to go in uh, next week. Uh, they do that at night. Uh, over I-55 and actually close down I-55 entirely. They're only allowed to do it for 15 minutes at a time. It's kind of neat. I uh, learned a lot about uh, bridge building uh, over the last uh, six months. Uh, also good news for the, uh, uh, for the residents of Southwest uh, Burr Ridge. Uh, it's uh, precincts uh, 68, 101, and 135. Uh, at last uh, election, uh, they, they were forced to go over the Hinsdale Lake Terrace Commons for, for, uh, for uh, voting or apartments. Uh, and actually, uh, that is actually officially moved uh, to the village hall, uh, thanks to the efforts of uh, people within the village and the county. Uh, we also had another resident issue that I, think I alluded to last, uh, last week uh, that is still ongoing, uh, much to our surprise and uh, amazement. Uh, we have a, a, an 88-year-old uh, woman in the, in, the, uh, in the village whose family is entirely, uh, frankly, uh, abandoned her uh, and deserted her and, uh, and are, are trying very desperately to to uh, take over uh, her care in the future, uh, which is uh, understandable in most cases, but I think a little premature in this one. I'll give you some additional details on it later, uh, and, uh, and please pray for her and pray for her family. Maybe gets a maybe gets a um, uh, has a, a second uh, thought about this uh, and a change of heart. Uh, also, uh, on a personal note, uh, this this week this past weekend I went to uh, Wisconsin uh, to uh, visit my visit our daughter, of course. But we spent the weekend. Uh, I went to the Screaming Tuna restaurant again. That's actually owned by uh, a Burr Ridge resident, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, also, uh, I had a neat, uh, coincidentally ran into an old friend of mine uh, right at the very hotel that we were staying at. Uh, but the two really neat, especially neat things were uh, we actually got, got a chance to see, uh, eat at a place at the, the public market called St. Paul uh, Fish Company. We got to meet the owner over there, uh, as well as uh, I coincidentally ran into a a, uh, a, an artist studio uh, at the Third Ward Art Festival uh, that was totally dedicated to Abraham Lincoln, which seems only appropriate and fitting, fitting because this week it is the second anniversary 
of my 50 Capitals trip, where I launched from Burr Ridge and then officially from Gettysburg, uh, went all around the country, uh, and finished it at the uh, uh, at the Lincoln Museum, and then Lincoln, I'm sorry, uh, tomb in Springfield. Uh, it, on, we launched it on September 4th, officially. The calendar date was on the 4th, on September 4th for this past Thursday, uh, yesterday, and we finished it on October 17th. Uh, more on that later. I actually came, uh, which leads me to where this, this discussion is where I'm at right now. Uh, you might notice that uh, there's a, some portraits of uh, Ronald Reagan behind me. I decided to take a couple days sabbatical to do some writing uh, for the business as well as uh, to, to write my 50 Capitals book. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll get rolling on that and get it done in the same 44 days I was able to get the trip done. As you can see, uh, I like to have, have the uh, fan of the entire museum, encourage anyone to come out here. Uh, if you look from, from, from right to left, you'll see all kinds of uh, memorabilia from Ronald Reagan. And, and uh, actually, the, Ronald Reagan himself uh, sent uh, over a thousand pieces of memorabilia back to back to this rest, this back to this uh, college uh, during his time as as uh, actor, governor, and president. Uh, and uh, it's a free museum. I encourage anyone to attend. Uh, it's certainly uh, it's the only museum like this outside of Simi Valley, California. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great week.